Hey friends, this is Callie. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am creating a floral background card using stamped images from the Painted Flowers stamp set. This is a really beautiful stamp set that kind of mimics the look of watercolor. And so to create a little bit more dimension and depth since it's a single layer stamp set, I'm gonna use a finger dauber and a second ink in a darker shade in order to add some depth and dimension to these images. I've got all of my foliage in here that I'm gonna stamp in green. So I'm gonna do them all at once and put them in my Misty, stamp with the lightest color, and now I'm using my finger dauber to add the darker shades at the bottom of the petals. I hope you can see that. I think you can see it better on the stamp than on the paper itself. So again, I'm gonna flip it over and start again. I want lots of foliage to fill my background, so I am stamping the lighter green, and then again going in with the darker using a finger dauber and I'm just tapping it onto the lid of my ink pad there just to make sure that the ink distributes well into the sponge of the finger dauber before using it. So you can see how that extra shading gives these stamps a little bit more oomph. So now that we have all of our foliage done, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the flowers. I strategically placed the stamped images of the foliage where they were so that I could flip the panel and not have to be reposition my stamps. So I'm repeating what I did on the foliage. I'm using a lighter shade to stamp the solid image, then using a finger dauber to add shading at the bases of the flowers or petals. And again, redistributing that ink into the sponge by tapping it off onto the lid of my ink pad. You can use a piece of paper for that if you prefer, or a craft mat. I just like to use the back of my lid because I feel like I don't have to clean it off. So that just makes the process a lot easier for me, especially during filming. So moving on to the larger flowers, I did have to use another piece of cardstock. So again, stamping with a lighter color first. And on this one, since there's two layers of petals, I can't get in there with my finger dauber too precisely. I am inking in the middle with a darker shade as well as on the outside of the petals. And I think that creates a cool soft look as well. I'm gonna go back to the blue for these flowers because I feel like the blues on this card are really eye-catching and I really never use blues so when I started using it for this card I really loved how it looked. There are some berries in here too I'm assuming. Um, they're good for fillers on the background that I'm trying to create so I stamped a few of those as well and they probably did not need any shading but I went ahead and did that since I was carrying on the technique and did them in purple trying to keep the colors cohesive. Once I have everything die cut, I'm gonna go ahead and arrange it all on an A2 card size panel. And then once everything is in place, I'm gonna very carefully add a piece of press and seal over the top and press it onto that plastic press and seal so that I can keep it all together and not mess up my arrangement. Now this is a tedious task, but I'm gonna go ahead and add foam adhesive to the back of all of these images so that I can lay them back over that A2 size panel so that there's lots of dimension. Now I kept the background white, but if you wanted to add some color to that background, it would be really, really pretty, like a soft pink or a soft blue. I'm pretty sure the process of card making is different for everybody, but especially for videos, I have to plan and pull out all of my materials and supplies before I start filming because I don't wanna spend three hours filming a card. So I plan everything that I'm gonna use and I lay it out and I just had not planned to do a background on this card. So that's why I didn't choose a color for the background color. It's not that I didn't wanna deviate from the plan because choosing an ink color for the background would have been a simple thing to do. But I just thought that it was fine in white and was planning on adding some jewels so I figured it would be okay. So as you can see, once I've laid out all of that adhesive, I just flipped it over and pressed it onto that cardstock. And then I trimmed off all the excess off the sides. I have a little white space on the top and right hand corner, and I did have a leftover sprig that I die cut. So I'm just gonna use that and fill in those spaces by cutting off those petals on those leaves and then adding them to the card with foam adhesive as well. So for my sentiment, I am using this hugs die from Kathy Zulski, and I die cut that halo using vellum, the top piece using gold glitter cardstock, and then I die cut three more layers in white so that I can stack them for lots of dimension. 
I'm sure you'll agree that there's lots of different types of adhesives. Today I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. It's got an Art Glitter Ultra Fine Metal Tip Applicator on it. I think Thermal Web also sells something very similar and you can get both at Simon Says Stamp. So I thought I'd point that out in case you were curious what was on the tip of my bottle there. For my sub sentiment, I am using a sentiment from the Reverse Encouraging Word Set. I found one that said hugs from afar, so I thought that was really appropriate, and then I just cut off the word hugs. To hide the white core of the cardstock, I went around the sentiment strip with a black marker before adding my adhesive and adding that to the card. All right, so I attached it to a base before I did the last step, which is adding these jewels, these iridescent jewels by Studio Katya. I did get a little bit carried away and put far too many onto my card, but I think that's the good thing about planning and laying it all out before you adhere it down. So I took some away and this was the final result. I hope you like my card today. I hope it gives you some ideas and inspires you to create with some stamps that you already have on hand, or if it inspires you to get this set as well, that would be a huge honor to me. Thanks so much for visiting with me and have a great day. Bye.